So you're wondering, what is Microsoft Copilot? Chances are you've probably been hearing about it if you work in the Microsoft world at all or just in tech in general. Maybe you've begun to see it pop up in applications that you use in your browser, on your Windows 11 PC, and you're ready to know, okay, I've been hearing buzz, what is this thing? How do I use it? How do I get value from it? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use it as an individual on your PC, that it's available in an app, in your browser. In future videos, we're gonna take a look at its use in other applications and other places, like Microsoft 365, Azure, GitHub. Copilot is all over the place. Let's start by heading over to copilot.microsoft.com to find out the very base level question, what is Copilot? Here we are at the landing page for Copilot, copilot.microsoft.com. And as you can see, this is your everyday AI companion, as it is labeled here on the web page. Now, what it lets you do is ask it things. In this box down here, you give it prompts. It is a text-based interface, and you can either ask it things by typing it in, you can use your microphone, you can submit images to it, you can choose if you want a more balanced approach, a balanced approach for your everyday informed chats, you can get more creative by starting an original and imaginative chat, you can get more precise if you're on a fact-finding mission. They even give you several examples of things that you can ask Copilot to do and what it might do for you. The other thing you'll find on this page is over to the right, if you have any recent prompts that you want to revisit, you can access them here. I, for example, asked Copilot, what is Microsoft Copilot earlier? And by clicking on that previous chat, it'll bring that conversation back up and we can see how that looked. I asked it, what is Copilot? And by scouring various sources on the web, it came back and said, oh, Microsoft Copilot is all of these things. It does text generation. It gives you coding assistance. It can generate images. It can do a lot of really cool, crazy things. And then it tells you where you can use Copilot. Well, it's available on the website that we're at right now, copilot.microsoft.com. It's now available in the Windows sidebar if you've got Windows 11 and you've updated it. And of course, it's available in Bing Search. Now it's baked right into Edge for you, but if you use Bing as your search engine, you can also use Copilot to start tailoring some of those search results. I then went on to ask Copilot, hey, can I use Copilot for creative writing? And it says, of course you can. You can use it for poetry and prose, editing and writing, translating things, providing summaries, and of course, things that you would type on an everyday basis that you probably need to save some time on, your summaries, your letters. It takes the ideas and the data points you gives it and does a lot of that legwork for you. Be careful though, you'll wanna go and double check the work and make it your own. Personalize the results you get if you're gonna be sending those results on. Now, if we head over to Microsoft's product page for Copilot, we can see that it's available in a few different flavors. You've got the free version, which we just took a look at, and we're gonna do a little bit of extra work with. Now, for $20 a month, you can get the Copilot Pro license. It'll give you faster response times during peak hours, faster image generation, and it will be in select Microsoft 365 apps as well. Then over on the far right here, which is not what we're covering today, but just so you know, for $30 a month, there's Copilot for Microsoft 365, which is an add-on license to one of your base Microsoft 365 licenses that you've already got. By getting this add-on license, you then will see Copilot in all these apps that you're used to using, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Teams, Outlook. You can use it to get summaries of meetings, to look for documents that you've been working on to get inspiration in the Word document you're creating, get help with the Excel spreadsheet you're working on. Copilot can do a lot of things and it is growing and evolving. So keep looking out for where Copilot's gonna surface if you use it within your organization. Now getting back to the point of this video, where can we use Copilot as individuals? It's available namely in three main places for you. You've got the Copilot app that you can put on your mobile phone. We see a picture of that here. And that lets you have access to what we just saw on that website a minute ago from your mobile phone. You pull it up and you get started giving it prompts, uploading a picture, which is easy with your phone, right? You're always taking pictures of things. Now you can use them in Copilot to get results on things you're looking for. Going beyond the Copilot app, you've got Edge, which as it's labeled here, your AI powered browser. 
Copilot built right into Edge if you're using it. And if you're not, this may make you think twice if you're a Microsoft user and want to start leveraging Copilot everywhere you can. Having an AI assistant baked right into the browser that's connected to the wider ecosystem you work in, super valuable. Going beyond that, if you are a Windows 11 user, if your company's got Windows 11, you're keeping things updated, Copilot is coming directly to the PC. So you can now use it as an app within the PC. Coming a little further down this page, we see that you can extend Copilot out from the use cases we're talking about now. Now this is beyond this video today. We're not gonna go into any of these things in any detail, but just know that in addition to your browser, your PC, and the app on your mobile phone, we've got Microsoft 365 that we'll talk about in another video. There's Azure we can talk about in another video, but you can extend it out even further. You can build your own co-pilots in Microsoft Copilot Studio. And then of course, there's the Microsoft Azure AI Studio as well. It's everywhere. That's a whole lot of power and a whole lot of workflows streamlined. So now that you know what Copilot is and you're beginning to understand all the different places that you can use it and the ways in which you can use it, let's take a look at a couple of those instances right now. If I were to go back to copilot.microsoft.com and go over to the chat, I can just ask something like, give me a brief history on the invention of ice cream and turn it into a fun poem. Let's see what Copilot comes up with. So about five seconds after I ask the question, we start getting a poem in real time created about the invention and the history of ice cream. Gives you a clever title, Chilled Delights, A Frosty Tale of Ice Cream, even gave us a picture. We have a link here that we can explore more. And it not only gave us the history, but it created a literal poem. That is hugely powerful. That was done in a matter of seconds. That's pretty amazing. Now let's say, create an image of the Statue of Liberty as if it were made out of candy. This should be interesting. Now, again, some of these tasks, especially image generation, may take a little bit more time on the free version to speed things up, to get a faster response. Again, you may wanna look at Copilot Pro for that $20 a month. But here we go, it created a few images that we can choose from, the Statue of Liberty made out of candy. That is, that is just wild. I don't know about you, but that is wild. And the creative ideas, especially if you're in a field like marketing or any other industry where you need to apply creative concepts on the fly, you make your prompts more and more detailed, learn how to tweak them, learn how to feed Copilot the data points that it will give you the most from. I could enhance that prompt in any number of ways and it will get more and more specific. Hugely powerful. And so there you have it. Microsoft Copilot is your everyday AI companion, chat-based, available all over the place. On copilot.microsoft.com, on the Copilot app on your phone, on your PC, in your browser. And again, there are other options for accessing it in the apps you use every day, like Microsoft 365, if you work in Azure, GitHub, and you can create your own Copilots if you wanna get that in depth. And in the quick demo we just had, obviously the possibilities of what it can do, what it can generate, what you can prompt it for are virtually endless. So what are you waiting for? You can give it a try for free. You can keep using it for free over at copilot.microsoft.com. Start having some fun, kick the tires. And if any of you think of some truly zany, weird pictures to create, drop a comment in the YouTube video. I'd love to see what y'all came up with. Thanks for tuning in and keep an eye out for subsequent videos about all the other places and use cases and learnings that you may want for Microsoft Copilot.